This right here is a hydraulic roller lifter out of a 6.7 liter Cummins diesel engine. And today we're gonna to take a look at why this is potentially failing. Welcome back, I'm Alex. And today we're talking about the old Cummins engine in these Ram HD pickup trucks. And maybe I'll eat some of my own words. In the past, I've said that these inline six diesel engines are the best diesel pickup truck engine you can get because it's a commercial grade engine in a, dare I say, consumer truck. So these Cummins engines come already over engineered because they are meant for a commercial use. But maybe that's no longer the case. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, we need to step back to 2019 and that's when Ram and Cummins introduced a brand new generation of the 6.7 liter Cummins diesel engine in these HD Ram pickup trucks bringing a number of upgrades like a compacted graphite iron block and dun, 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 hydraulic roller lifters. Before 2019, Cummins traditionally used what's called a flat tappet style lifter. Um, it's very simple and therefore pretty darn reliable. It's just a single piece of metal. Here's your good old push rod. And as the cam lobe comes around, pushes up on the flat tappet lifter, pushes up on that push rod and the selected valve opens up. And while well, Cummins has been using this style of flat tappet lifter since the debut of the 5.9 in the 80s, and you might ask yourself, why fix what ain't broke? Why go to a hydraulic roller lifter? And apparently it's all due to maintenance. You see a valve tray needs a specific amount of backlash or play because as metal heats up and expands, there needs to be room for a little bit of expansion between the components of the valve train. And from time to time, you have to adjust that play or backlash, and that is the maintenance that Cummins is avoiding by using hydraulic roller lifters instead of solid flat tappet. Here's my friend Adam on an ISX 15 liter Cummins engine, and just listen to this. So what you're hearing right there is valve lash, and you don't really need much like on a Detroit diesel, which I work on a lot, um, the intake valves at like 16 thou of valve lash. So it's not a lot, but you need to make sure it is in spec for a proper running engine. And that's why we need to inspect and adjust the valve lash on the older 6.7 liter Cummins to make sure it is in spec. Now the beauty of a hydraulic lifter is that it uses pressurized engine oil and there's a spring and a plunger in here and it sets the proper valve adjustment every time the engine starts. So there's no need to worry about valve adjustments down the road. Um, as you guys can see here, that's where the oil goes in. And once this lifter is full, it should set the valve train to the correct spec. So you're gonna save on some maintenance with these hydraulic roller lifters, but how much maintenance are you actually gonna save? Well, with the older style Cummins, with the older style flat tappet lifters, Cummins recommends doing a valve adjustment every 150,000 miles. So in my eyes, the average truck owner might have to do a valve adjustment two, three, maybe four times in the life of the engine, which I don't think that's that much maintenance or maintenance cost savings. In my opinion, I would much, much rather have the simpler, more reliable flat tappet style design that Cummins has been using for decades than potentially have a less reliable hydraulic roller lifter that might save me a little bit money on maintenance costs. Now here's where the water gets a little bit murky for me. So this is a true commercial grade 6.7 liter Cummins or an ISB Cummins in a good old school bus here. And this is a 2024 engine and being it a brand new engine, you would think that it comes with hydraulic lifters, right? Right? Wrong. This engine comes with flat tappet style lifters. And I know that for an absolute fact because I ordered this specific flat tappet lifter with this serial number of engine, came out of Montreal for this specific engine. So despite this engine being a 2024, it still uses flat tappet style lifters. So to me, that's everything you kind of need to know because on the commercial side of these engines, reliability is extremely important to these manufacturers, especially Cummins. And they opted to go for the more traditional tried and true flat tappet lifter and did not put those new hydraulic roller lifters in their commercial engines for probably a good reason. What's also kind of neat is behind the 6.7, they outfitted 
a good old commercial grade Allison transmission. Not a bad combo. So with all that being said, what exactly is causing these hydraulic roller lifters to fail in the 6.7 Cummins? And well, sadly, there just really isn't a concrete answer just yet. There's a number of theories on the internet like there always is. And the first one, and probably the most popular theory, is that people are running the wrong weight of oil. Anyone with a 5th gen or a 2019 plus Ram HD truck with a 6.7 Cummins you cannot run 15W40 weight oil. Sounds a little counterintuitive because that's what Cummins has ran since the 80s. But earlier in 2020, I think maybe 2021, Cummins released a technical service bulletin saying directly that if you run 15W40 in these newer fifth gen Cummins engines, it will directly lead to valve train damage. Now this does make some sense on both sides of the spectrum. So first of all, running thicker oil, you could potentially be having more oil pressure in the engine. And well, again, these run on engine oil pressure. So with more engine oil pressure acting against the spring inside here, you might push this plunger out a little bit too far and incorrectly set your valve train adjustment, which could lead to damage. On the flip side of that, with thicker oil, it's gonna take more time to actually fill this lifter, especially in cold conditions. The valve train components are usually the last components to get oil flow when the engine starts up. First is the engine bearings, obviously the most critical. So it might take a little while for this lifter to fill up and it's just gonna be smashed around on the camshaft until it does, which again, could cause damage. Thinner oil, especially in colder climates, will be able to fill this lifter much quickly or much more quicker. And therefore you're not gonna get that same sort of camshaft smashing going on during a startup condition. So those are the two reasons why I could see that thicker oil might not be very good for this valve train. Cummins recommends you use 10W30 or in colder climates like in Canada here, you run full synthetic 5W40 oil. And, uh, you know, these, these Cummins engines are producing a ton of power and you would like to be able to run that thicker, more protective oil than the thinner oil that Cummins is recommending. But, you know, the engine is set up, the valve train is set up to run that thinner oil. So you kind of have to do it. Now, before you freak out at Cummins, Detroit Diesel, the engines that I work on, they make fantastic diesel engines. They've been running 10W30 in their engines for years. And it just seems like that's the way manufacturers are going to what lower emissions. Unfortunately, it seems like 10W30, um, it helps manufacturers to lower first fuel economy or, or raise fuel economy, but most importantly, secondly, lower emissions. And I feel like Cummins is probably no different there. Unfortunately, I don't think that's the full story because there have been a number of reports of engines that run the correct weight of oil still having lifter failures. And I don't argue that running the wrong weight of oil could potentially put more wear on these little puppies here, but I don't think it's the whole story. Another speculation into these lifter failures is that the oil change interval on these Cummins engines is just too long. And I find that odd because the oil change intervals haven't really changed. The 2019 plus Cummins engines um, Cummins recommends changing their oil or its oil at 15,000 miles or 500 um, hours of runtime. The 2018 and below 6.7 Cummins have a recommended oil change interval time of 15,000 miles and 500 hours of runtime. Additionally, once again, on the commercial side of the 6.7 Cummins, this engine can apparently go 30,000 miles between oil changes or 1,000 hours of operation and it's not dropping lifters or camshafts despite that extended oil change interval. Now, granted, we do have a 19 quart oil pan versus a 12 quart on the pickup truck, so keep that in mind. Lastly, there's even reports of Cummins engines dropping lifters below like 10,000 miles of runtime. So to me, hearing that, yes, oil has a massive role to play on any component of the engine, especially a hydraulic roller lifter, but if I had to guess, it seems like there might be a metallurgy problem, a bad batch of lifters, or even a design problem with the lifters themselves. It does seem for whatever reason, like the 2022 model year trucks seem to have a lot of lifter failures happening. And what was before 2022 
the good old pandemic where quality control across it seemed all manufacturers took a pretty dramatic dip so again potentially just a bad batch of lifters but at the end of the day i'm just some dummy on the internet and cummins has kept a pretty tight lip on this lifter issue but i'm sure eventually it will come out at some point for me i think the real story is the fact that cummins felt like it was beneficial to the consumer to ditch this tried and true reliable simple flat tappet style lifter for the more complex less reliable um, hydraulic roller lifter i don't think i'm alone saying that i would rather have a little bit more maintenance a little bit more maintenance cost on my engine knowing that it would be more reliable. I think the beauty and why people love the 6.7 Cummins as well as the 5.9 Cummins engines is because they were commercial grade engines, over-engineered engines for a pickup truck application. It resulted in tons of reliability and extremely long longevity of the engines. So ultimately it would have been really nice to see Cummins stick towards that commercial side of things and not try and eliminate maintenance for the consumer if that makes sense well this is what a real commercial grade 6.7 liter engine looks like behind me here let me know what you guys think are you concerned about these lifters always love hearing what you guys have to say but if you did like the video don't forget to leave that thumbs up and if you like cool stuff like this don't forget to subscribe because we will be keeping you updated on this lifter issue but as always enough of me we'll see you in the next freaking video